Yak's going to demonstrate on the uh, tomahawk. So he's got the tomahawk. I'm just going to be stationary. This is the tomahawk. We've got distractors on there with the feathers, which kind of make me look there when I'm not looking at the, the main target area. I'm just going to allow him to work on his angles of attack. So he's going to do variations. Single hand crosswind, double hand crosswind, right? He can go swing, swing, then double hand, swing, swing, or he can go one hand swinging this way, two hand swinging that way, one hand swinging that way, two hand swinging that way. The weight distribution is very different, especially when you got the bigger weight tomahawk. So this has a, a lot of weight to it, even though it doesn't look as heavy as it is. So he's the double hand actually works really nice for power, but the single hand works nice for a little bit of that extra reach. Then he's gonna do the downward wind patterns with single and doubles, the upward wind patterns, the piercing bison straight into my neck, my face, my chest, my groin. And I just want him to get used to weighted objects. If you're always practicing with your plastic or your foam or your aluminum knives or the wooden knives, you're not getting the same expression of weight that you would with a real target, a real tomahawk, a real war club, a, a real improvised weapon. So Jack's gonna start, I'm just gonna statue pose. He's doing singles and double hand grips on his crosswinds. He's gonna do upward winds, downward winds. It can come at an angle, it doesn't matter. And again, if he's going 100 miles an hour and I'm in the target area, I'm in big, big trouble. Now we practice the same thing, crosswinds, downwinds, upward winds from the side like we always talk about, hitting different targeted areas. It's just a good way of warming those shoulders up, getting used to those targets and getting used to the weight of those real objects. I move around, he's going for the ankles, he's going for the knees, he's going for the groin, he's going for the... Uh, the butt line, he's going for the hip line, the kidneys, the river, the liver, the uh, the rib cage, any part of the body. Then I turn the other way, same idea, he's getting his repetitions in. Good, so practice that with all your weapons, real ones and fake ones.